Welcome back everybody, Vena here, VST, Venus Beast Tech. Yesterday I did my full review and testing on the Samsung One UI 4 Beta 4 and I try to do a lot of things guys. I have taken into account most of your requests and more will come. I first want to thank you for submitting those requests because I can tell you some of those things, if not all, are really eye openers for me and you really help me to just test things out, actually never think of myself. And with today's video, we are actually continuing this line of videos. So of course, the first thing one will do, or I do, every time I get a new update, I just go here in the Galaxy Store and I go inside and click on my applications. By the way, Galaxy Store already having a new version, a more modern and fancy look, more of course aligned to Android 12 and etc. So apps right now are accessible from here and then you can just go click on the menu, click on the updates and of course there are some updates. By the way, yesterday a lot of the Samsung Store applications already were updated and as one of your requests guys, in the next days I'm gonna do a video showing all the stock Samsung applications supporting the new material UI design. Pretty much means every time you change your wallpaper you can just tweak the hues and the colors a bit and I'm gonna show things like the clock, the calendar and everything else. Today I'm gonna focus on the updates we have right now. Something from this list here drew my attention and I can tell you it was not the Samsung Music and the Samsung Free but it was the Good Guardians and apparently not only Good Guardians was updated but also the Galaxy App Booster and the Thermal Guardian. So I'm gonna start with the Good Guardian and this time quite quite nice from Samsung to put a change log. So what is new? October 2021 File Guardian no longer supported from Android S. Only files that have already been backed up can be restored Terminal Garden got a new updated CPU tab and the Memory Garden got a functionality to allow exclusion for some of the apps from cleaning, which is actually quite, quite nice. Now, when we click here on the Galaxy App Booster, right, we can just see it is a version released on the 3rd of November, which, guys, was actually yesterday. So if you are not familiar with these tools, I think that this video will be very helpful for you. Galaxy App Booster is used to boost the performance of your phone and every time you do a system update, a firmware update or you just want to get a bit more juice, you can just run this, right? So this is the Galaxy App Booster, then we have the Turtle Guardian, okay, updated CPU tab, scroll down a bit, see again it is a version from yesterday, now coming with a new CPU tab and the Turtle Guardian actually is very unique to the whole Samsung One UI ecosystem. In all of my videos that I do about Samsung, I'm always saying that this is probably one of the best mobile operating system out there providing really unprecedented level of tweaking right and support with no requirements to get root access like mess up with the phone with no requirements for you to use your pc and have some advanced skills it's already natively there and this is why really i love the one ui you can do a lot of things you can do them quite easily you know, sometimes there are some stupid things like the good luck having some um, restrictions just based on location, but we know how to overcome those things. Now back on this, Terminal Guardian offers a way to track and manage the device temperature. It also provides a solution to detect the source of the heating, right, which we know is a rated problem, specifically when you're using Samsung Exynos chipsets. And you can, and this is really the best here guys, you can adjust the thermal threshold level to adjust the performance and adapt to your personal uses. You always know what I say, more heat not necessarily means less performance, but sometimes with more heat the phone will throttle, which means cripple your performance. And with the Thermal Guardian you are allowed to adjust these thresholds. And I'm going to actually show this in the video. Very quickly, Samsung Music, all right, change the storage policy and etc. Okay, not so interesting. Also an update for Samsung Free. There is a change on the main GUI, graphics interface and etc. and etc. I'm not using Samsung Free. There is also an update to the Samsung Pass Digital Key and also an update to the one hand operation, which probably I'll cover in one of the next videos. We've seen a new version, some things have been fixed. Also, fixed issue when DEX is connected to the phone. There was a request from a user asking me to test DEX in One UI 4 because apparently nobody cares, nobody does this on YouTube because, you know, there are no, no views with this. But it is what it is, guys. I'm gonna click here the update all button and in this video I'm gonna specifically focus right on the good guardians and etc. Could not install application, Galaxy App Boost is already installed on your phone, uninstall it to install this version, which is actually quite interesting. The way this works, guys, you need to already open good guardians and just remove it from there. I'm just gonna show this quite quickly. Good guardians is here, right? 
This is right now the latest update. I'm gonna try to update the agent to access the clan from inside Good Guardians. I'm gonna be able to remove the old Galaxy App Booster then luckily and hopefully be able to install the latest Galaxy App Booster. Right now my phone is installing the Good Guardians agent. It's gonna take a while. I'm now inside guys. Now what I need to do, I click here right and I will reinstall the application. So, do you want to uninstall the app? Uninstall it first. Now after the uninstallation, I'm going to install the latest version. Now this is very interesting guys, it's not so often to see requirements like this, meaning every time there is an update to an application, things like this works a little bit more seamlessly, meaning that you just put the update on the already installed application, not with the Galaxy App Booster. I really hope that this will come with a reason. Now I'm checking my updates tab, nothing there guys. All right, so I'm gonna open right now what is the latest version of the Good Guardians. And we can just see here, Galaxy App Booster, tap item to finish the installation. All right, I'm gonna tap the item here. That's the new interface. All right, oh, okay. This looks really different. And I can tell you guys, I'm not going to run it right now, but they changed the interface and they claim that you can get up to 15% improvements. I have a lot of applications and based on my experience, if I am now to run an optimization of my phone, it's going to take more than like 30 minutes. You can also optimize application used in the past 30 days, which is quite nice. They say 15 minutes. I don't believe this, but okay, maybe we can test this later. They suggest for you to run the Galaxy App Booster right after the OS upgrade and after that once per week to maximize performance. I have to admit, I never did that running from beta 3 to beta 4, which probably is a mistake, but okay, now at least you know what to do. When you click here on About, you just get Galaxy App Booster version 25009. So this is actually the latest version. Now let's check the Thermal Guardian. Tap item to finish the installation. Okay, I'm gonna tap the item. Right, and we're now inside, guys. They said they, they pulled down a new CPU tab. Threshold tab was already there, okay? And this is the thing that I was kind of like explaining to you guys. I am already running here with a higher thermal threshold, which pretty much means that the default is here, but when you do like this, the thermal threshold will be increased with one Celsius from the default, which means that the operating system will allow your phone to run hotter without hopefully crippling performance, right? Now, if you want to test, try it, please do it for yourself and just let me know what the results are, specifically when you're using the Snapdragon version, because this here is the Exynos. So this is temperature, this is the threshold. And by the way, you can already see which of the things were really causing it. So charging or environment, when I click on environment, you can just see information. Here, when, if I go there, you can just see, guys, I had high network usage, high CPU usage, but you can just exactly see which exact application or game was causing this, which is quite nice. And now to the latest edition, guys, CPU usage. And this, I think, is actually quite new. Wow, all right. System server, Samsung core services. So it shows the same template where you have the temperature, but also the CPU usage. And that's quite nice because you see with increased CPU usage, of course, temperature is also increased. Quite nice that you can apparently see these things and check like all the picks. Like I am having a pick here and I want to see why my temperature went like this. I can click here apparently or not. No, no, you cannot click here. Okay, you just have access to applications, um, but it said that you cannot really see which of these applications cause this temperature spike, so to speak. But you can click on the point on the graph to check out the top five processes that use a lot of CPU, which kind of makes sense. This is actually the reason for me not be able to click on an individual application. Please check on the threshold tabs for exact reason, because the reason of the heating may not be the CPU usage. So every time, guys, you are in doubt, go here, you're gonna have like the five culprits. And if you wanna see what happened, just go on the threshold and try to find more information. When you click on the about, you're gonna get the Thermal Guardian 25009, which makes sense. And this is actually the Good Guardians. Now, one final check. Somebody told me that the Good Guardians was also redesigned to use this material UI. And that's something I'm gonna test. I'm gonna go here to wallpaper and style. I'm gonna go here to the color palette. Right now I'm using the standard one, as you can see. I'm gonna choose this, and I'm going to also apply the palette to the up icons. I'm gonna click down, and first thing we can verify to see if that has been applied, of course, are the quick settings. All right, they are applied. Now I'm gonna go back inside the Good Guardians, uh, if my phone, of course, will allow me, to just check if this is true. So I'm gonna enter inside, yeah. It's not true. All right, I have been lied, guys. I've been told that a good guardian somehow redesigned, but it's not. In, if, when you click Galaxy Up Booster, I pretty much think you have the same design. 
but it's not important. They'll probably get there. I really hope guys that you will enjoy and like this video. If that's the case, please don't forget to like it. Let's try to beat this YouTube algorithm, not putting my videos on recommended and etc. If you of course like the content, yeah, why not subscribe to the channel guys? Deeply appreciate it. Please you and your families guys stay safe in these hard times and don't forget to come back for some new videos. With that said, VST over and bye.